Hey, Kaleidoscope Club, it's Tara Lynn. How are you? I just wanted to take a minute and go over the things that are included in the box this month. So you will see that our palette is Summer Sundress, which is a really pretty one, and I'm super excited about this. This is the one that the members voted on and chose last month, so um, pretty excited to do this one. There's lots of pretty things in here. So let's talk about what's in your box. So first thing is you've got a little sand dollar, and this was just a little extra bonus that I included. Um, I thought it would be fun to dot on. I might do a little video when I get to it this month, but it's just an extra. It's for you to play with. Our first project for the month, our Beginners of the List, is this ornament. And so we're gonna start with this. And so you have what they call a wood cookie in there with a hole in it that you can hang a string from uh, and you can use this however you want to. So we're gonna do the ornament. This is our July 15th project. Um, the next project we're gonna do is this heart. And it's hard to see on the video, um, but I used the iridescent, which is included. So um, you've got a little jar of iridescent paint um, that, this, that will give this a nice little sheen when we're finished. So this is our creative challenge that we're doing on Monday, July 22nd. So the heart goes with this one. And then our big one is Monday, July 29th. This is our advanced artistry lesson. So your large stone will match up with this one. And this guy, I think caused lots of trouble this month. This big heavy thing may have clanged and banged around in your box. I hope not. If you've had any trouble with your supplies, please, please, please let me know. I will be happy to make sure you have what you need before the lesson. Another kind of weird thing that you're gonna find this month is some drill bits. And so uh, one of the things that I want you to start thinking about when you dot is, yes, we've got dotting tools. But before dotting tools really became popular, and they, they really didn't exist before maybe 10 or 12 years ago for dotting, people used whatever they could find. So they used the end of a pencil. They used um, maybe a tube of lipstick or an eraser or whatever they had around to dot because it wasn't a very common art form. Um, it just so happens that drill bits come in sizes that are graduated on even increments so they're perfect for dotting and we have a fabulous list in the group of guesses that people had of what was going to be included in the box and the truth is you can dot with all of those things you can dot with so many different things um, and make beautiful pieces the idea is just to um, create patterns with them so this month we're just going to be a little silly and we're going to use drill bits um, but it was just a way for us to think outside the box a little bit um, going forward most everything that we're going to do is going to use our dotting tool kit that is that was included uh, when you signed up but please Please feel free as we're working through upcoming lessons and upcoming workshops that you can use whatever tool set you like. So if there's one, you know, if you choose to upgrade, um, I'm going to try to put the sizes and not only uh, reference the sizes in the kit, but um, they'll be in the guides um, sizing for various kits as well. So if you do choose to change the tools that you use, you can still complete the lessons. And if ever there is a tool um, or a size that you don't have in the set of tools, you can just go up slightly or go down slightly. Remember, um, as long as you stay with the pattern and you do the same thing all around, it's gonna turn out beautiful. All right, so drill bits was kind of our weird little surprise this month. Um, you also have a stencil that was included, and this one differs from the stencil included with the starter kit in that this has um, 12 arms, and we have been working with 16 arms. Ooh, earthquake, multiples of eight. Um, I tend to prefer the, the eight and 16 arm stencils, but sometimes we gotta shake it up, right? It's not just about what I like. So we're gonna be using the six and 12 arm stencil this month. So uh, that is why you have an extra stencil. Um, I mark mine so that it's easy for me to reference. And so there are 12 total arms, but I, in the dotting world, um, it's a multiple of six. So it's called a six twelve stencil. Um, so that was included. And then also you have a little jar of iridescent beads and these are not counted out I just um, found this pretty little bottle of these stones and so um, you can use them as an addition if you want to get creative with just a little bit of glue you can just use um, regular Elmer's white glue if you want to use it you can use um, nail glue is another common popular option if you've got that or super glue I usually do just use white glue um, but those are just an extra little extra bonus if you want to include those in any of our designs they match really nicely to what we're doing so that is what is included. Now, if you are new to the group, you have a starter kit. So in your starter kit is your set of uh, dotting tools. You have your uh, stencil. Now this is the 816 stencil, I'm gonna mark mine. So this is the 816 stencil, so it's got 16 arms. I personally uh, like to use the transparent stencils because that way if they move or slide, you can line it back up really easily. There's a paintbrush that's just for doing the background color. 
you have got a pencil. On one end of the pencil, you should have a little pin. Um, you can use this pin. Sometimes I pull mine out and I use this fine, fine tip to pull some of the paint. So you may see me do that. Um, you can also use this pin to do swishes and swoops and swipes. And if you want to learn about that, there's, why do I keep shaking? Oh, earthquake. Um, there is a guide in the group. So you can dive into that if you want to. Um, I do use the mechanical pencil because it's got a fine pencil lead um, to pull some of the paint while we're working as well. You have a little container with an S on it. Can you see that S? Um, sometimes it shows up on my camera, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but this I call splack. It's basically spackle, uh, wall spackle. Um, I try to make the tops of the stones nice and smooth for you. Um, if you're particular and you want the bottom of the stones to be perfect, that's usually where the micro bubbles end up. Um, you can use this to fix any of the little micro bubbles that might end up in your stones um, or if there's something I miss on the top of the stone. That's what the spackle is for. It's just quick, easy stone repair. Whenever these circles show up in your box, these are just extra practice circles or play circles. So if you want to try out a new design or you want to practice something, um, these were included in your starter kit and that's what those are for. And then we've got chalk and the chalk is just for marking your stencil. So that is how we make our patterns. And so that is what is included in the starter kit. So I just wanted to kind of go over everything, talk about the dates that we're doing each individual uh, stone this month and that's what we've got going on for July. So I'm really excited to get to know all of the new members and to create beautiful things with you. Thanks so much and I'll see you soon.